What did you do? If you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? Looks like you got a package. A package for me? Yes, sirree. And judging from a postmark, looks like your globe-trotting grandma sent you something all the way from Russia. Wow, Grandma Birdie always sends the coolest gifts. I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Thanks, bunnies. This is the cutest little bear ever. Well, Grandma sure does love you, Willa. And there's even something for me. Stamps. If she keeps traveling, I'm going to have every stamp in the world. How come he doesn't smell like Bert, huh? <laughs> Silly, Gus. It's not a real bear, but he's a toy. Great name, Willa. Well, I just figured he's somewhere in between a toy and a friend, so he's a buddy. And Buddy's got great taste. Love the jewelry. <laughs> Wow. It's okay, everyone. Buddy's just dancing in Russian. New guy's got some smooth moves. We need a fourth for doubles. Care to join us? Hmm. Guess tennis isn't his game. Whose serve is it? <laughs> Good first try, Jenny. But I guess Buddy's dance is easier with littler legs. <laughs> Catchy tune, though. This is Bear? Why is he wearing silly pink bow tie? And these little rubbery teeth could never bite through beehive. And good luck hibernating with music coming out of little backside. <laughs> it won't happen. <laughs> But he's a toy, Bert. He's a gift from my grandma. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Villa. Cute little guy. Spiffy shoes. <laughs> I think he likes you too, Bert. <laughs> right, buddy? Oh, he speaks Russian too. <laughs> what other talents does this? <gasps> nice. You know, um, I was quite the dancer when I was cub. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do svidaniya means see you later in Russian. And you know what else is cool? The bear is the national symbol of Russia. Wow, so Buddy's a very important bear. <sighs> well, looks like Will have found herself a better bear, huh, Bert? Well, I don't know if I'd say Buddy's better bear. Yeah, right. He just has that snappy pink tie and feet like wings. I guess he is pretty good dancer, but I have special talents too. Really? Besides sleeping? Yes. For instance, I can help Villa with jigsaw puzzle. Villa, your bear! Bert, no! Great. Hiya, new guy. Care to join us on our tour to backyard? <laughs> Don't want to get helmet hair, huh? <laughs> And then the front door opened, and there it was. This nifty stamp on a letter all the way from Belgium. Told you, buddy, my dad tells the most awesome stamp stories ever. <sighs> Something wrong, Bert? You don't usually come upstairs for story time. <sighs> oh, you 
you want to listen to? <gasps> oh. Okay, this is why having real bears in bed is a bad idea. Uh, looks like I've got some stamp gluing to do. Bert, I'm afraid that... I know, Vila. I am too big for your bed. Sorry. Gosh, I wonder why Bert's been acting so strange. Ah, uh, he's just jealous. What makes you think that, Gus? Well, can you blame him? You did replace him with a newer, younger, better-smelling bear. That's silly. But he's not even a real bear. It's just that he's new and for my grandma and... And you play with him all the time. Hmm. Maybe I did hurt Bert's feelings. Now what am I going to do? Gus's toy bear disposal service now open for... <laughs> Are you sure they allow toys at school, Willa? It's International Week, and I'm giving a report on Russia. I think the kids will get a kick out of seeing Buddy. Mr. Farnley's going to give me an A for sure. But you know what would impress them even more? A real bear. You mean? Why not? In fact, from now on, you're going everywhere Buddy does. Um, Willa. I'm not sure about this. This will be great. Run! Down! The bear! I tried to look my unscariest while I waited for you, Villa. I don't know why that crossing guard climbed a tree. It's not your fault, Bert. The park is a much better place for real bears. And you, me, and Buddy are going to have a picnic. Food? Now that's something I know quite a bit about. In fact, do you know what goes really good with it? Honey. Too bad I didn't pack any. No problem. That's where real bear comes in handy. <laughs> no, Bert, it's full of... Why is he buzzing? Oh, yes, Mr. Tremble. No, uh, uh, we're very, very sorry, sir. No, 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 absolutely not, Mr. Tremble. Willa will not be bringing her real bear to school anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. Willa! Sorry, Dad. I just didn't want Bert to feel left out. Hello? <laughs> the park ranger? What seems to be the problem, sir? Um, uh, we must have a bad connection... It almost sounds like a swarm of bees. It is? She what? Yes, sir. Uh, Ranger, sir. Willa! Hi, Bert. Afraid I've got some not so great news. My dad says I can't take you with me anymore. I understand. We finally figured it out, new guy. You don't like tennis, and you don't like biking. But everybody loves singing golden oldies. Hit it, Bob! <laughs> do up a do up a do up a do. Do up a do up a do up a do. Do up a do up a do up a do. Do up a do up a do up a do. Do up a do up a kid's not bad. Think how good he'll be when he learns the words and the melody. Bert, please don't feel bad. Once people get to know you, they like you. And I love you. That's nice of you to say, Vila, but now that you've got Buddy, you don't really need another bear. What do you mean? I think I should just go live somewhere else. Just as soon as I pack my things. Okay, that's about it. Goodbye, Vila. No, Bert, please don't leave. I'd miss you so much. And so would my dad and everybody else who lives here. <sighs> Have a nice trip, fella. <sighs> It's almost dark. Maybe you'll change your mind after a good night's sleep. I wish. I haven't been able to sleep a wink since Buddy came. But it's worth a try. Bert. 
Bert. Sure sounds like he could use a buddy. Hey! I think I've got just the cure, Bert. Just curl up in your favorite snoozing spot and close your eyes. I already tried that, Villa. But you haven't tried it the will away. Please. Okay, but I'm still not asleep. Bet you will be in a minute. Buddy reminds me of how much Grandma loves me. So maybe he'll remind you of how much I love you. Good night, Bert. Good night, buddy. Gus, you shouldn't be so rough with the mailman. That could be another gift from Willa's grandma. Howdy, y'all. I'm Giggles the Gator. <laughs> 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 Attention, students. This is your vice principal, Mr. Tremble, reminding you that today is the fundraiser for our school garden. So be sure to get out there and do your best to help our garden be the best. And remember, the student who collects the most donations will get their photograph in the newspaper and be awarded a special trophy. Whoa! Check it out! That's the biggest trophy I've ever seen. And it's all ours, Willow. <sighs> My name's Willa. And how are you so sure it's going to be yours? <laughs> well, that's it. We lost. Don't worry about them. The most important thing is that we raise money for the garden. Even Sarah, Kara, and Lara can't raise enough money to fix this. It's going to take a lot to turn this place into a garden. Hey, look! <laughs> Maybe your bunny has the right idea. We should eat the weeds. I really don't want to eat the weeds. Maybe if we could uh, clear some of this ourselves, uh, then the school could use the money for more plants. Uh, or maybe even a fountain. <laughs> Great idea, Dooley. And while you do that, Evelyn and I will collect donations. You don't want to donate to our school garden, do you? Here you go, Willa, and your donation can, and, uh, good luck. <laughs> I'll do my best, Mr. Tremble. Donations! Make your donations to our school garden here! That hairstyle is tray chic. And that outfit, super styling. Oh, we my. We know that someone oh, as stylish oh. as you will want to make a donation to our school garden. Thanks ever so. Good afternoon, ma'am. Would you like to make a donate? Sorry, dear. Yo, that's pirate talk. That pirate must be looking for buried treasure. We need to find it before he does. We'd be rich beyond our wildest dreams. We could buy our own iceberg <gasps> and all the sardines we could eat. Eat, I'll tell you, eat. Let's get our tools. Excuse me, would you? Hmm. Pardon me, donation? Hmm. Oh, hi there, sweetie. How's the big fundraiser going? 
Well, just stick to it, okay? For a good cause, you know. Thanks, Dad. Boy, Jenny, look at all the donations Sarah, Kara, and Lara are getting. <laughs> My goodness, a giraffe! May I pet her? Absolutely. Thank you so much. I've got an idea on how to get donations. Make a donation to our school garden and pet the giraffe. Every little bit helps. Thank you. So Wilhelmina thinks she's going to take our trophy? We'll just see about that. Hmm. Huh. Hairstylings. Beauty treatments. Makeovers. <gasps> Looks like he found us just in time. <gasps> this is great, Jenny, but I know how we can collect even more donations. Come and pet the animals. All it takes is a small donation. Hooray! Yay! Normally, my policy is do not touch. But for Willa, I will be temporarily flexible about petting. <laughs> it's a kangarific way to help Willa and her school. What's with everybody? I'm just as cute as any fur bag. <gasps> <gasps> ah, these people have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> Help our school garden and you can pet the animals. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> Listen to this. With all the money I'm collecting, I might even win the trophy. Trophy? I thought we were doing this for Willa's school garden. But you need our beauty treatment. I just want to pet the camel. No, no, no. You don't stay here. Would you like to make a... Ugh, why do I even bother? are doing a great job for the school. Ah! Hello. Oh, can I have the next ride? You sure can, for a small donation. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, ride the animals. One donation is all it takes. <laughs> Trophy, you're all mine. Uh, this is it, fellas. The treasure's gotta be here. Okay, Bob, start your digging. <gasps> here comes that monkey, Monsieur Bingo. Let's make like a tree and leave. Nice work, Dooley. Thanks, but I don't think I'm getting very much done. What? I don't remember doing all that. Excuse me, sir. You dropped this. Hurry, hurry. Right this way to ride the animals. There's room enough for everyone. One donation is all it takes. Thank you very much, sir. There you go, Mr. Tremble. <laughs> I'm gonna win the trophy. I'm gonna win the trophy. Oh, so you're winning the trophy. Well, whoop t do for you. I'm sure your pals, who are doing all the work, are gonna be real happy for Y-O-U. <laughs> Is going on 
here. Huh? Oh, hi, Dad. I guess we've been a little too successful. I know it's easy to get carried away when you want to do your best. Oh, and I just saw Dooley. You know, he's doing a great job on the garden. The what? The garden. The reason you're here. Oh, yeah. That. And it comes as no surprise that the trophy goes to Willa, who, thanks to her school spirit and hard work, made the biggest contribution to our garden. this. <gasps> huh? What? Oh? Sure, I collected the most donations, but all I did was hold out a can. Actually, it was my animal pals that did all the work. As for the trophy, it should go to the person who did the most work in the school garden. <gasps> and that's Dooley. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations, Dooley. And I know the perfect place for this trophy. Well, the school garden looks like it's going to be great. It will be, and I'm really happy for Dooley. Yes, indeed. And he's not the only one who got his picture in the paper. Really? Young girl causes biggest traffic jam in city history. Oops. <laughs> Bottle cap! All right! Bottle cap! We're on a roll, fellas! Diamond ring? Nah! Pearls? Nah! Gold nugget? Nah! Ooh! Bottle cap! Fabulous! Bottle cap! Super! 